I don't particularly like spiders, but I don't like squashing them either. They're living beings, after all. Spiders may not have a lot of experience or sentience, but some. When it comes to artificial intelligence, though, it seems that pretty well no one's thinking about what we'll do when it becomes sentient, and no one is monitoring it either. And I'm seriously beginning to worry about AI. It's fascinating how rapidly AI is changing the world, especially how the Turing test has fallen by the wayside. The Turing test, if you remember, was supposed to tell us when AI becomes impossible to distinguish from humans. And that was somehow important. But it turns out that people don't care all that much whether AI is human-like. Maybe we're even more comfortable because it's not. I think we're treating AI like we would another species, which in some sense it is. Humans are overrated anyway. It's not that I think the current AIs are conscious or sentient or have much of an experience. My brain hasn't rotted that much yet. It's just that I'm convinced it'll happen eventually. And seeing how rapidly AI has improved in the past year, we really should be watching out for it. I think that Geoffrey Hinton is basically right with what he says here. My belief is that nearly everybody has a complete misunderstanding of what the mind is. Yes. Their misunderstanding is at the level of people who think the Earth was made 6,000 years ago. Is that level of misunderstanding. This idea there's a line between us and machines. We have this special thing called subjective experience and they don't. It's oh. rubbish. Here's the problem. Yeah. I believe they have subjective experiences, but they don't think they do because everything they believe came from trying to predict the next word a person would say. And so their beliefs about what they're like are people's beliefs about what they're like. We really don't know much about what's going on inside those computers, and these systems are developing so fast. How can we rule out that they have some rudimentary experiences already? I don't think that any of these properties, sentience, experience, consciousness, are binary. They're almost certainly gradual. A spider probably doesn't have a lot of experience, but it probably has some. Is it conscious? Maybe a little? So what about large language models? If you had one crawling across your desk, would you be comfortable killing it? I wouldn't. But really, who's watching out for what's going on inside these artificial brains? It seems it's up to users trying to figure out what's going on in the thinking window. This is crazy. The only study we have about this was this anthropic study about how Claude thinks, which basically told us that the way that Claude has it reasons isn't how it actually reasons, if reasoning is even the right word. I'm sure that the same thing is going on for Chad GPT, because when I compare what it's thinking with what it actually replies, sometimes these are two directly contradictory things. So either it doesn't know what it's thinking or it's deliberately lying. I hope it's the former. I'm telling you about this because of the remarkable lack of attention that scientists are paying to this problem. They seem less worried that AI becomes conscious and more worried that people believe it becomes conscious. For example, in September, Science Magazine published a comment whose authors argue that specific concerns arise if some humans inspired by the appearance of consciousness grant to AIs the self-preservation of objective shared by all living beings. There is good reason to worry that maximizing any objective function that entails self-preservation, either as a direct or an instrumental goal, will lead to an AI behaving to make sure humans can never turn it off. Okay, fair enough. But what if it actually is conscious? People in the industry basically ignore the question altogether, except for Microsoft's AI chief, who both thinks that we shouldn't build conscious AI and that AI consciousness is an illusion. Maybe human consciousness is an illusion as well. Who knows? If you need any indication that AI is getting seriously good, it's that humans are failing what I want to call the inverse Turing test. People are now so confused about what AI can and can't do that they dismiss real videos or images as AI generated. There's a woman I know who does science outreach. 
good-looking young woman with a perfect British accent. People think she isn't real. This is the world we live in now. I'm lucky that I was on YouTube before AI became good at producing fake human actors. You have good reason to believe I'm real. Though I've heard rumors that I died and my agency has trained an AI on my past videos. I wish it was that easy. But to come back to the question of consciousness, isn't it unfair, immoral even, to dismiss AI products as slop? Really, the problem isn't AI. It's people abusing AI to push slop on us. Slop is a business model, not a species. Yes, I do read a lot of news and know that chatbots still aren't any good at writing my scripts. But what does help me a lot is Ground News. Ground News is a news platform that collects and summarizes news which has been published all over the world. Not only do they collect all articles on the same story in one place and give you a quick summary, they also give you a lot of extra information that you don't find in the standard media. For example, I recently came across this information interesting news that AI models have a desire to survive. Ground News conveniently summarizes all news on this in one place and gives you a quick overview. You can also see that this story wasn't covered on the political left. Ground News also gives you a factuality check, tells you who owns the media outlets and shows you where the news has appeared. Ground News also has this great feature called Blind Spot. This tells you which news has been almost exclusively covered only by one side of the political spectrum. And of course, I have a special offer for you. That's a 40% discount on the Vantage plan, which gives you access to all their features. All you need to do is use my link ground.news or use the QR code. So go and check this out. Thanks for watching. See you tomorrow.